in the Chelsea Hotel, all were considered equal. Whether they could sell a painting for $2 million or whether they sat at the lobby and talked about a book that they were going to publish and they've been talking the same way for three or four years. They were all treated in that particular place with the same and equal respect. So I'm very happy to know that something of the spirit uh, we'll go on today, here. I lived in the Chelsea Hotel for over four years. That is, I slept there, I walked down the hallways, I hung out with all these people. I saw them late at night and early in the morning. We were friends, I guess we were enemies. We saw each other at good times and at bad times. I guess the most general statement about the people who lived in the Chelsea Hotel, and that's how they felt about me, was the only thing that was normal about people who lived in the Chelsea Hotel is that they were somehow never normal. There was no necessity to keep up any social front. Everyone could be completely neurotic, or let's say completely raw. Emotions were on the surface. The only place we felt somehow safe and protected was inside the walls of the Chelsea Hotel. So for me, things have changed since that time. I really thought when I left that room that I would never again find anything like the Chelsea Hotel. And not only have I found something that's carrying on the spirit, I even have a room. 